return most of the stuff I bought from the book fair, but when mom saw why I got to replace it, she wasn't all that thrilled. I traded for a bunch of those spine ticklers books everyone at school so crazy about. Spine ticklers number 23, the brain with a mind of its own. Spine ticklers number 13, zombies for breakfast by I am spooky. Mom said she wanted to get me to get books that were more challenging, but I didn't really have much of a choice. Since the book fair is a few weeks before Halloween, this is the kind of stuff they'll sell. Particularly good reads. I'd say about 90% of the books at the fair were from the Spine Ticklers series. There were a bunch of Spine Ticklers weird pops, too. I don't know if it's illegal to do that kind of thing, but something t about it doesn't seem right. Knee knockers. My brother is a no brainer by M. Mount Gray. Rip tinglers. The day my belly button tried to eat me. It feels like these scary books just came out of nowhere. The last series that was really popular at my school was the Underpants Bandits books, but those are yesterday's news by now. In fact, I saw Key Walk. Walking down the hall with an Underpants Bandits book earlier this week, and an 8th grader gave him a Atomic Reggie. I'm not, ah, I'm not really a big, usually big fan of scary stories because I, when I read them, I end up having nightmares. But while he's even more chicken, of a chicken than I am, because all, because all of the books he picked out were from the Spine Tickles Junior series, which are supposed to be for kindergartners. Spine Tickler Jr., Scary Cat, and The Haunted House by M. I'm Spooky. At least I'm brave enough for the real stuff. One of the books I bought is about this guy who gets frozen and then wakes up in the future. Spine Tickler's number 48, Wake Me Up in the Year 3000 by I'm Spooky. I thought it was just a bunch of science fiction, but I believe Sandy said he heard of this witch guy doing it for real. I will say he saw this news report about an old billionaire who's really sick, and he paid a ton of money to feed himself. Then, in a hundred years, he's gonna get unfrozen. He's praying that by then they'll know how to cure every disease and he can go on living forever. This freezing thing sounds like a great plan to me, and if I strike a witch one day, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm not gonna wait till I'm old like that billionaire. The way I see, if you freeze yourself when you're too old, then when they underfeed you in the future, you're gonna be too grumpy to have any fun. Get off my lawn! So if I win the lottery or some, something in the next years, I'm gonna use that money to buy myself a one-way ticket to the future. Okay, let's do this thing. I'm not telling anyone about my plan, though. There's a the, there's this joke at our school named Philip Curvillo, and his parents are witch. So if he gets the same idea as me, I could still be dealing with him a hundred years from now. You wet yourself, ha <laughs> ha. But I'm not sure if a hundred years is far enough to go. By then, I'm sure I'll have a bunch of great nieces and nephews who need babysitting. And I'm not spending all that money just so I can change a bunch of dirty diapers in the future. I'm, th I'm planning on seeing Frozen a thousand, not longer, like a thousand years, because by then... Things will get be really interesting. I'm not ready to go any further than that, though, because who knows how much human beings will have evolved by then. The zoo. Only human line. If I don't win the lottery in the f next few years, I guess I'm going to have to find a cheaper option. Albert Sandy said that people who can't afford to get their whole body frozen can just freeze their brains. I'm kind of nervous handing off my brain off to some people I don't even know. Though, I'm guessing they're not paying their employees a lot of money to basically wait around and do nothing. So I'm kind of concerned about the quality of help they have at these freezing places. Oops. After your brain gets unfrozen, I guess they'll put it in a robot body, which probably takes a lot getting used to. Nerd. If I, but if I can scrape it to get enough money, I'm gonna feed my whole body and do it right. Because whenever you go with the cheap option, you end up regretting it. Oh, come on!